Today, I am going to explain the lesson from unit number 3, lesson number 3.2, The Kite Festival. I request you all to open your textbooks to page number 62. Years ago, the harassed mother would often say to her restless son who needed to be kept busy during his holidays, why don't you go fly a kite? The mother used to get so stressed out, she used to tell her child to go out to fly kites. And the little boy would happily pick up his kite and run out into the field. That, of course, was in the past, when the only kites available were made of kite paper and thin wooden frames. Kite flying has come a long way since then with the invention of motorized and even fiberglass kites to compete with the old-fashioned kites. Today you will see students fiberglass kites, not only paper kites but fiberglass and motorized kites. Today kite flyers can be found in different parts of the world carrying different types of kites, waiting for the right winds. Kite flying has a long history. There are many Greek, Indian and other mythological stories which tell us about human beings wanting to or trying to fly. There are many story students that for thousands of years ago, the human beings were trying to fly like birds. Over a period of time, this desire of humans and their imagination probably led to the invention of kites. And it is likely that the box kites designed more than a hundred years ago later inspired others to create power-driven aeroplanes. You can see here children, the box kites and then later they created the power driven aeroplanes. In India, however, the tradition of kite flying has not changed. Be it during the coming of spring which is celebrated as Basant or during the festival of Makar Sankranti, people of all ages, that is from youngsters to the elders, go out into the open to try their luck with their kites. In towns and cities where open spaces are difficult to find, terraces and rooftops are often used for this traditional sport. In Gujarat, Makar Sankranti is Kite Flying Day, traditionally celebrated on January 13th or 14th it is a holiday when people meet outdoors to cut each other's kites. Students, even you have a holiday for Sankrant and you too go on the terrace or you go in your compound to fly kites. This day also coincides that is occurs at the same time with the festival of Uttarayan. Uttarayan is when the sun is set to begin its journey to the northern hemisphere. The people of Gujarat celebrate Uttarayan with a lot of enthusiasm. They are enjoying and all business comes to a grinding halt for a couple of days. They shut their businesses also for a couple of days. It is also a celebration to mark the end of winter. The kite flying begins at dawn, that is early morning, and continues without a pause throughout the day. People of all ages gather on terraces or rooftops. Friends, neighbors, even total strangers compete with one another and cries of triumph rend the air when someone cuts the line of a rival. Friends, neighbors, all, even strangers, there is a competition during this kite flying and you can hear a lot of sound, noise and when one kite get cut, they shout, Kai Po Che. A 
wonderful variety of kites is seen and the fussy buyer is very choosy and can choose what he wants the more serious players prepare special lines for their kites special lines means they make special threads for their kites there is music in the air and traditional delicacies that is they prepare special food items are specially prepared for this day we prepare til laddu puran poli yes students held on the same day the bigger event however is the international kite festival at ahmedabad It is organized by the Gujarat State Tourism Corporation. It is held either at the Sardar Patel Stadium or the Police Stadium. This popular festival attracts international kite flyers. The kite flyers come from all over the world who demonstrate their skills in flying exotic kites that belonging to far away land. and local champions as well little indian paper kites compete with those from japan usa uk and other countries excited spectators watch in awe those who have come to watch this kite flying festival they are wondering they are amazed as marvelous shapes such as eagles and snakes soar into the skies One of the highlights of this festival is the patang or kite bazaar in the heart of Ahmedabad which is open 24 hours a day for a whole week. A visit to this bazaar in the middle of the night is enough to prove that the entire city is obsessed with kites they are only thinking about the kites the kite day the kite flying people crowd the streets and buy their stocks they buy so many kites and they are bargaining they are haggling through the night skilled craftsmen demonstrate age old kite making skills and how to prepare special thread used for kite flying there are special craftsmen who are preparing this thread and how do they make this thread mixtures of glue and ground glass cover the lines which are dried and rolled onto reels known as firkis these lines are so sharp that carelessly used they can cut a finger that is why during this kite flying day the birds are injured because they also get cut with this thread so we should be very careful children we should avoid using such sharp thread the excitement does not end with nightfall now it is time for illuminated that is lit box kites often strung on one line to be launched into the sky they are set up in the sky they are called tukals they add a grand beauty to the dark sky and compete with the brilliance of the stars the tukals are compared with the stars so students what did we understand from this lesson let me summarize it the extract tells us about the kite flying festival it is celebrated as basant or makar sankranti in gujarat makar sankranti is kite flying day and it is celebrated on january 13 or 14 it marks the end of winter there is competition among people music traditional delicacies are prepared for this occasion the festival attracts both national and international flyers after sundown there are illuminated box kites too hope you have understood the lesson children i want you to read the textbook thoroughly thank you